Um, Shemmel's performance in fucking Ultra Instinct is gonna be crazy. Oh, dude, the, all that screaming! It's gonna be really yeah. beautiful. All that fucking screaming, man. I will totally rewatch that entire Tournament of Power. Oh yeah, no. Just that... watch, just watch Super in English. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, I bet. I just it's don't hysterical. like the Goku Black arc. Dude, I... even the Goku Black arc in English isn't bad. I... Like when when Future Trunks shows up and Kid Trunks doesn't know who he is and stuff like that. I don't know. The English version sells it a lot better than the Japanese, in my opinion. Even then, just I don't, I I think it just it was a dumb idea. Rocky. What, it's a demon. Evil Goku? Yeah, ma- like evil Goku, and then like another time travel it's thread. The most dangerous and, like, demon on the planet. This fucking like, uh, you see them fighting. Operation op- fucking kill all mortals. Like just this is really funny to watch. There goes Tim. He's the best quarterback on the demons. Timothy, you look fought. at that Kamehameha way. This is really. Is funny. he just shooting other demons? What? They're just yeah. fighting. They're fighting each other. I'm this enjoying the spectacle. Die, die. Okay. Now it's personal. But now yeah, it's personal. Like, Super was really hit or miss for me. It was hit or miss for everybody. Uh, but, like, like I I thought the, like, redoing the movies was fine. Like, whatever. I didn't really like that. I, uh, yeah, I get yeah. why they did that. They were like, we don't want anybody jumping into this without knowing the movies. But, like, yeah, those movies made so much money in Japan... They were huge box office draws. And, and they also could have just, like, done a prologue type thing and got... Yeah, they could have got through it. I didn't uh, need the, uh... I didn't need the Frieza arc in particular to last as long as it did and to take as much time as it did. Um, like the Frieza arc. And that, like, like the Golden Frieza. Like, the Universe uh, 6 F1. tournament was good. Like, I, I liked it. I thought it was, like, a good introduction to some other shit. I thought it was fun. They should have just started with that shit, though. Yeah, Goku Black was falling. Like it was all right. Like, but like that tur- th- that turnout of power. Like literally every week, I was like, that got me to subscribe to fucking Crunchyroll. You weren't okay. Already subscribed? So that got me to pay for fucking Crunchyroll. So I, I gotta say, like, the Goku Black arc kind of like drives me crazy for one major aspect that like every time travel anything does. But it's like, where does the timeline split, and what's the deal with fucking Future Trunks? Like, does he know that he's already been to the past? Like, has he already been to the past in this timeline, and, like, what's the deal with that? Because I, every it definitely time... definitely already feels like he's been to the past. Well, they reference him a lot uh, as having been to the past, and then when he shows up, they're like, oh, hey, Future Trunks, you're back, and he's like, oh, hey, guys, how's it going? Like, yeah, it's, it's not like, it's not like, wait, I've been here before. You know, like, that's what's weird to me. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just But then the timeline split is so definitively, like, five days from now or whatever. Like, it's, like, super close to the timeline they're currently in. It's just... It's just so weird. Like, like, it's... Like, the the thing is, they really did step it up for that Terminal of Power, though. Like, all, like, what is it? Like, 35, 38 episodes of that are, like, great. Like, even the filler in that shit is fantastic. It was pretty good. Like, I put that up there with, like, Cell and Frieza level, like, of how much I enjoyed it. I uh, so you put it pretty low, then? No, those are the two best arcs up until the, the fucking Term of Power. Yeah, yeah, I think the Frieza, the Frieza saga is probably my favorite Dragon Ball Z saga. The King Piccolo saga is my favorite overall Dragon Ball saga, but... Uh, I like the... Are you serious? The other one didn't die. <laughs> mm. That's annoying. It's also Your rage annoying. is very quiet. It is. You very much internalize everything, don't you? <laughs> Sometimes. If it's a platformer, <laughs> no. No, yeah, that's... That's that's your kryptonite? That's that's everyone here's kryptonite. True. Just... Freak. Like, if you don't rage at a platformer, we can't be friends. Like, also, just... like, if you don't rage at a platformer, you're like... You gotta have some like Zen level fucking anger management skills. I dude, I can't like, like I, I you saw me during Celeste. Yeah. I just I, that game is great, by the way. Good game. Um. Good solid game. But uh, yeah, you you've been still playing more fighters. That's, yeah. Um, Vegito Blue and Zamasu are gonna be out by the end of the month. True. Yeah. Uh, that's that's official. That's news as of uh, a couple days ago. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Zamasu plays like Magneto, and that's cool. Dude, we don't have time to watch this. Let's just yeah, we do. 
Just let him fuck around. Uh, That's fine. We're we're not talking about this game. We're not. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just like, I want to get to the end. Yeah. Um, Are you playing? No, I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> fine. Fine. Mister, all I am is a big ball of sassy pants. Yep. That's all I am is a big ball of sassy pants. Who's wadding up their pants? What the fuck? Apparently Bronson Fiori is. Apparently Ray. Ray's only probably Ray, do you keep your pants in a wad? Only and on I don't, laundry day. I don't yeah, mean same. in the sense that, like... I don't mean in the sense that, like, you're upset or something. Like, you're tight wound, tightly wound. I, I mean, like, do you literally ball up your pants? Do you guys fold your pants or hang them? Um, I fold them. I hang yeah. them. But I don't have a uh, dresser or closet space. I, yeah, keep, I, I keep all my clothes in plastic tubs. Same. I don't have any, like, I don't have any, like, dresser space. You used to have a dresser. Used I think you to, do have a dresser, don't well, you? Well, I have my big one, but, like, yeah. not anything I can, like, store clothing in. You can put pants in that. Not with what's in it. He just chooses not just, to. It's storage mainly, and, like, I don't have an issue hanging pants. Ah! <sighs> ah! I fold ah! mine. Ah! I fold mine and put them away, but... Oh no, I'm. Um, I've been looking into. Uh, Will you explode already? Um, what was it? Yeah, I don't know. I've been thinking about just switching to hanging, and cleaning out that closet. It's filled with like, I haven't cleaned out that closet since uh, s the summer before I started my insurance job. Damn, oh, was that it's like been a long 16, time. 17 years ago? Huh. <laughs> Been two. It'll be two this July. <laughs> God, that's still a long time not to clean a closet. That that's, is a long that's time. Just, I just fucking put clean clothes in and take clean clothes out. The rest, I guess, fair enough. It's just like the oh rest of it is just like storage for like boxes of like systems. Like that's where like my PlayStation box is and like stuff. I still have my like this, I still have my like PS2 box. <laughs> Do you? Mm -hmm. that's Damn, girl. Um, like that. I like to keep my boxes for my systems. I like to keep my boxes for most things, like figures. I have all, I have not all of them anymore because I move around a lot. But I have most of the figure boxes. I um, couldn't do that for me. I tried that for those like really not those high end Dragon Ball figures I have. Yeah, and I just couldn't. Just like they're too fucking too big. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Um, it's the same thing with Amiibo. Like I kept it for the two like eight bit ones, and then like. I tried keeping the boxes, and like after a while, I was like, "No, this is." I can't handle putting keeping stuff like amiibos in boxes. I feel like those are meant to not be in the box. Not only that, know? but it's like it's a ginormous pain in the ass. Yeah, but I mean, like I keep like uh, <laughs> like that that lightning I bought from you. Ma I have the box for that, yeah, and like, I keep uh, like yeah, I yeah, keep like, all those boxes. Like I never opened that thing. Like I bought that out of packs. Oh, I opened it like right as soon as I got home, yeah, well, and I put them on display. Yeah, but I, I kept their box. Fair enough. Like I never opened that thing. Like I kept it. Uh, I like I I bought it at my first PAX and was like, and was like, this thing's cool. I like the design of lightning in Final Fantasy still. <laughs> um, and I mean, Final Fantasy thirteen is the best. Final no, it's Fantasy. no, it's not. You had no. a figure. It might you, be the best if you're I, a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, I just had to come up with something really insulting uh, to hurt you as bad as you just hurt us. Um, the, uh, oh god. Like, like me and Brandon have disagreements about Final Fantasy, but that's like one thing where we both kind of agree on. Ah! Murder! Um, I don't think it's the worst Final Fantasy, but... What is the worst main series Final Fantasy? Six. You fucking... You get the fuck <laughs> out of here! <laughs> Fucking, just gonna fucking <laughs> run you over to my car. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> fucking. I feel like he just bought a car so that he could threaten Ray with it. <laughs> I feel like the fact that he needs transportation is moot. <laughs> oh god. Um. Right, uh, Bronson, how often did you take Uber before you became an Uber driver? Um. Pretty often. Three to six times a week. Yeah. Really? Yeah. God damn. Wait for work or what? For work. Yeah. I could um, not afford to fucking... Or I wouldn't be able to justify taking an Uber to work every day. But I work uh, out in USA Parkway. So, yeah, like, I've, my Uber drive is only, like, 12 minutes. Yeah. So it's only, like, a $12 ride. Yeah. For you, that's, like, a $40 ride. Oh, like, at least. This is a trap. Uh, and th that's the difference. It's like, a trap! Also, I don't think Uber can get 
to Tesla. They uh, they can get they can Uber get, can yeah they can they can yeah you oh. just, they just have to like you just have to enforce like I believe it's you have you get to the gate and then they're like yo what's up yeah and then you flash them the badge and then like they fucking they're like oh well who's your driver and then you're like this is my mom and it's like some forty year old dude <laughs> they're like you don't work here do you you're like yeah I do. I promise. Oh god, he punched me off the um, cliff. This part's fucked. That actually, I actually intend to bring to work. This nice. Titus? Yeah. I'd yeah. steal that off your desk. Uh, it's, I have my desk currently has two different Arthas figures, Rainer and Broly. I think you need to Black give Frost. this one. I think you need to give this one to charity. I didn't know you changed your name to charity. You need to donate. Oh, I don't want Titus. Oh, I actually thought I thought about getting all the Dissidia figures because I have Cloud, but um, thought about the, getting the play the arts. The little no, these these oh, ones. Those ones. Yeah, yeah. The that, trading that arts. was another one from Pax. I, don't I do want to get the fucking play arts uh, figures though. I'll punch you. They're in. just like a hundred and sixty bucks a pop. They brand used, new. Uh, they used to be a lot cheaper. Yeah, you know, when they were smaller. Um, they that, were like 60, 50 or sixty bucks. That lightning was fifty bucks. Yeah, when I bought it. She's a smaller scale than they are now. Now they're uh, now they're like they're bigger. Yeah, they're a bigger scale. I have the uh, Arkham Knight Batman, and he is a big meaty boy. Um, he's a large fellow. They did Halo ones for a while. They did have Halo I ones. Did they had really? Fullmetal ones. I nearly bought a Halo one at uh, Halo Fest twenty eleven. They had ha they have Full Metal Alchemist ones, and I want to buy the Roy Mustang, but that's like three or four hundred bucks. I hope Halo Six's story doesn't suck. I think if I think if you get a Full Metal Alchemist Play Arts Kai figure, it, sh it should be Alphonse. Like, Why do you say that? Because he's like the perfect character to make a figure out of. You know, I would buy a Play Art of the Doom Slayer. You can't even see that motherfucker though. Yeah, but he has like a, like he's on the cover. Bronson, you are the Doom Slayer. That's what a fucking shot! He flew me. <laughs> Occasionally, you see his corpse like that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you see his lifeless body. Would you pose him as a corpse? Just down on the ground. I'd buy two of them. I do that with a Yamcha play art. Did you? I I know they have the figure arts. Uh, in the Dragon fucking Ball figures. Hole. Yeah, they have the figure arts Dragon Ball figures, and uh, one of the promo images for that is him posed as like being dead in a hole. <laughs> um, I actually have nearly bought on multiple occasions the Goku Spirit Bomb lamp. The one oh, we could all talk uh, about Infinity War, huh? Yeah. yeah, fucking... I'm not tired of talking about that. I am, yeah, I've talked about that on stream a I'm lot. I'm fucking exhausted from that movie. That like, was, it's such not, a Not flick. because of the movie itself, but because, like, I'm, I'm just so goddamn tired of, like... Talking to, like, about it. Dude, honestly, like... Can we the, talk about how Star-Lord did nothing wrong? I don't okay, think Star-Lord did anything wrong. I am See, not the in problem. the camp. I am not in the camp of Star Lord. Okay, I have a friend who's a big Star Lord fan. Shout out to Vincent, who I know doesn't watch this, and he's like, "You should get him to watch this." He is thoroughly convinced because Star Lord is his favorite character. That Star Lord did nothing wrong, and that Star Lord was was uh, secretly saved the universe. And I his fucking logic behind this gets me scratching my head every single time because he's always like. Doctor Strange saw 14 million outcomes where where they they lose and only one of them is where they succeed and you know it's the one timeline where Star Lord fucked up and like freaked out on Thanos. Sorry, this is a spoiler part of this for a now four month old movie. I think three month old movie. If we post two of these a week, it'll be a two and a half old mo month old movie. All two right. Anyway, old. spoilers for that. Um, movie's probably coming out on Blu-ray soon, but. Uh, I buy that for sure. I love that movie. It was pretty good, but like, he was like, he's so thoroughly convinced that uh, Star Lord did nothing wrong because if Star Lord, I, I shouldn't say Star Lord did nothing wrong. I should say like it fit his character and totally made sense. Sure, but what, his logic behind it is if Star Lord <laughs> didn't freak out, then Thanos would have killed everyone anyway because that's one of the possibilities. And I'm like, you're making a lot of assumptions about this. Also, how does that make sense? Like, in what in what Way. Oh, they're would... gearing us up for a boss fight. This looks so. awful. Like, what would Thanos do without the Infinity Gauntlet to s to s kill everyone? Because they had already defeated him at that point. Like, yeah. they already had him. They beat him with it on. Yeah, they beat him with it on, and the only reason why they lost that fight was because Star Lord freaked out. But in his mind, 
Star Lord had to freak out, and Thanos had to wipe out all half of all of existence in order for them to succeed. And he's thinking that that's because there are timelines where Star Lord freaks out and do, or doesn't freak out, and they get the gauntlet off of Thanos and all that shit. He's like, Thanos had to win in order for them to succeed. And I'm like, no, that's not what Doctor Strange was saying when he said this. There, there was only one way. He was saying.